Hey guys, my name is Tasha. I am the owner of Soul Fervent Embroidery. If this is your first time, welcome. If this is not your first time, thank you so much for coming back in. In this video, I'll be using the Hoop Master Hooping Station. This is going to be my first time using the station. I have six shirts that I need to embroider. My plan is to stitch the logo on the left chest and then on the right chest, the customer wanted their name. This video will also be a work with me type of video. So if you want to see how I tackle this, come on, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is go ahead and prepare my stabilizer. I usually purchase the large roll. So I wanted to go ahead and cut up some squares so I can use on the hooping station. And um, this roll is actually, it's about 15 inches. So after I cut it about eight and a half inches this way, I'll just cut it in half at that time after that. I already hooped one of my shirts ahead of time um, because again, this is my first time using the hooping station. So I want to go ahead and pre-mark my first one. So after I pre-mark the first one and I set the settings up on the hoop master hooping station, then the next one to come after the first one, then it's just really just loading your shirt on, straightening it out and then hoop it, hooping it and go from there. So I already have my first one hooped. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this one to the side. Now I'm going to go ahead and hoop my second shirt. Okay, this is one of my favorite tools that I like to use inside of my embroidery studio. It's the Mind Pre Perfect Planner. This is the person who created the Mind Pretty Perfect Planner. Her name is Alexis Galloway. And here is her information. Now I have the hard copy. She offers it in the digital copy as well. Okay, and I, I really like to use my planner when I'm doing logos. There's a place for the hoop size. There's a place for the stitch time, the stabilizer, what font you use, the stitch count, the dimensions or the size of your design, fabric type, and then the difficulty level. For me, it was a little difficult only because this was the first time that I was using the Hoop Master, the Hooping Station. And uh, there is also a place for your supplies. 
Um, and, and for me, it was just to cut away the thread and the hooping station, pretty much. That was the main things. And then also, I really like this part. It's a place to document your thread colors. And for me, whenever I do a logo, I like to make sure that I'm using the same thread colors every time that they bring me something back and it's their logo. That way, whatever you stitch it on, whenever they order something from me, it's always going to be consistent as far as the colors. I have this place here where I can document what colors that I use that way I don't have to try to remember. And um, also here is another place for like your project details, just some special notes that I wanted to include here for me to remember how I did those shirts. And also on the other side, there was a place for special notes. But here is a, a area where you can sketch out your design and um, just included some details like the details from here when I'm drawing it out sometimes those details refer back to this drawing as well so that I think this is a really good planner I really enjoy doing it especially for my logos I'll include a link in the description box too if you're interested in purchasing your own my pretty perfect planner.
all right guys it is the next day so i'm just coming back in to go ahead and finish up the shirts that i was working on last night so come on let's go ahead and get started Alrighty guys, here is the final product. Let me know what you all think down in the comments. How do you think I did? I think I did pretty good. And thank you all so much for watching until the end. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.